Hi, so I'm creating this video to demonstrate the production performance issues that Neto Chat have been facing for a while now and its root cause and the solution and the tool used to figure out what the problem was. So let us start. You can see there's a red icon on Neto Chat with production on top here. And that is because it's active alerts. We have had this many 12,000 around 12,000 critical errors for this app in the last 24 hours. And this is happening in spite of it having huge resources. So you can see right now in the last few days or, we or a week maybe, it has been running on a huge dyno, a performance PM dyno, which is 2.5 GB of RAM and it costs $250. But even then, it is having so much of problems. So the moment when we see such problems, the first place we look at is the either the rails log or the application monitor if we have one plugged in. So when we look at the application logs, what we can see is just a huge number of requests. We can see that there is significant traffic here. You can see this the live log and it keeps scrolling. And immediately in one look you can realize that most of the calls which we have here are slash cable, which is expected even, which is the action cable call when the chat widget loads or if the chat widget is open somewhere this call will keep happening in regular intervals but other than that we can't figure out nothing much from here we can see that some of these calls are fast but some are really slow but nothing more on the cause here so then since it is production we don't have any much more available in the logs so we'll go to our application monitor we have plugged in scout right now and this is scout and surprising thing here is when we look at scout here if somebody is looking at scout alone they won't even realize that application is going through some kind of problem here it, everything looks reasonably all right here so this is the web response time it is just some sometimes it has gone about two seconds otherwise it's reasonably good you can see the mean response time etc all looks reasonably good then memory bloat insights they have a column here and doesn't even show it show zero it just says these these guys these dinos use this many this much memory but it doesn't even say that there's a problem in the errors tab nothing much okay we, we haven't even configured that anyway and there is n plus one tab n plus one there are a few queries which are n plus one but you can see all of them are admin queries which are in the admin views so they can't be the cause of this because these pages are loaded only rarely once in a while and then there is slow query insights and you can see the queries which are listed here now whatever it is the maximum the slowest of the query is taking only 17 milliseconds so that is not the cause of the problems which we are looking at so basically what i'm trying to say is scout is not at all providing us any information which is useful in finding the root cause of this problem so when i was faced this with this i tried plugging in remote scout and plugged in neuralic so I'll start. So Neuralic is plugged in right now to Neto Chat. So here, you can see Neuralic is here. And the moment I plugged in Neuralic and went to it for the first time, maybe after five minutes of plugging in, it started providing us very meaningful data. So this is the Neuralic Neuralic interface. It is much more cluttered than what Scout is, but still it provides us what we need. So we are going to Neto Chat application now on Neuralic and you can see the initial page itself <coughs> this is the transactions time and then if we come down here there's a transaction list showing five slowest transactions and immediately you can see on the top two of the action cable items visitor channel appear and visitor channel away two functions the slowest occurrence of these have taken one of them have taken one minute and one, another has taken 41 seconds but this is the slowest occurrence but there is average here this is 20 seconds and this is 17.4 so immediately after coming to this page we know who the culprit is it is action cable and specifically these two methods in action cable and these are the other api calls which the widget makes and they are fine they are slower but they are fine they are, they are not causing any problem so it's definitely this too so now we can immediately go to this code and see what is happening so this is visitor channel and the methods which we are talking about is appear and away and as one would expect both of them are using the same code inside 
update online status and get status online so this get status is here it doesn't do anything heavy it is just taking the list of enumerations and then querying it so it's just a very basic operation doesn't cost anything so we have to look at this function and here <coughs> you can see what it does is unless organization so organization fetching organization is a database query it is fetching based on subdomain but this is indexed and even if it is not it's not a huge query to cause all this problem similarly visitor fetching of visitor it's a similar query still not good enough to cause this kind of a problem <coughs> then we have an update update definitely is expensive it, maybe we should not do it directly here maybe we have to move it into a background job but still doesn't explain the problem which we are having which narrows us down to this method bot graph visitor which is here and here we can see okay so this is the broadcast visitor method and here we can see it has two arguments one is visitor which is already taken care nothing much in that and then we see this method here this method and it runs this particular piece of code so uh, just by one look of it we can understand that this might be a huge one but we have to confirm it so we'll open the rails console and try to run this and see how much time it takes okay so we have need to chat a production open and to run this code we need an organization so i am fetching one of the organizations which we are already using chat on and then running this code so i'm pasting it here and it starts executing you can see it is still executing i'm not pausing the video we'll just watch it live still going on and finally done it took around 10 seconds even now to execute in the console and now imagine this getting called every time a flash cable request is received so this right here is the cause of our problem but without stopping there let us just take a look inside this method i think it's a scope so it's a scope within visitors so this is the one and you can see here it first fetches all the online visitors which already might be a huge number and then we are looping through it and then running another big query possibly seemingly or possibly big query inside it so this is a classic n plus one case with some heavy lifting huge heavy lifting happening within the loop so this kind of a code code itself is a problem and even if it is there it should never be in the request cycle first request response cycle it, it could be in the background job but even otherwise it is a n plus one which needs to be solved and this explains the memory bloat so this kind of an n plus one situation and request piling up on top of one of the other one one on the other can definitely result in a memory bloat situation like what we are having now so this explains everything but before even we try to optimize this we have to see whether this is actually required so let us just go back to visitor channel and we can see in appear and away this is, these are two methods which we are looking at and here we are just broadcasting the visitor and in broadcasting the visitor obviously this one visitor should be an argument that is straightforward but the question is this particular number which we are computing here with so much of computation why is it even required when we are broadcasting a visitor so this may not even be required here we might be able to move it away to some other place it doesn't look like it belongs in this position so with that removed i think our problem will be solved it should start running better much, we must, should be much more performant uh, so the lesson here is in the request response cycle it's a very basic principle which we should always keep in mind for all applications because these problems even just th even this example we won't notice this in our development environments with the amount of seed data that, that we have this will become visible only in production and it may not be evident in production in the initial days as the data grows as the visitor table starts growing this problem also starts growing on us so yeah so the basic principle here is we have to keep the request response cycle, cycle as thin as possible the controller should rest respond should return as soon as possible and perform every other operation in, in a background job and some other place without making the caller the API caller wait 
and another point which i want to emphasize here is uh, with this real world example we saw that scout is not providing us any meaningful data which is useful in debugging these kind of production issues it is only providing us very basic details like response time which is shown in a graph and then some n plus 1 queries which we can get even without scout in using the bullet bullet gem etc but neuralic provides us tons of data which are very meaningful so if we go to neuralic here uh, so this was the transactions which we saw on the first page itself similarly we can go to databases there are other tons of other things here which makes it cluttered but all of them are useful so if we go to databases we can see this query the most time consuming query and this one is right on the top widget con conversation select this is this corresponds to the inner query in our n plus one and this is straight there on the top so it all makes sense and we are getting very meaningful data in Neuralic which scout doesn't give us so we will switch from scout to Neuralic we'll we have a scout paid account now this is a common account used by all applications we'll probably close that one and then uh, buy a Neuralic account so right now we are using one inside I need to chat for now because I just added for debugging this issue we'll kill this and then sign up for a Neuralic account a common account and then switch all the NATO applications to this yeah so yeah we had discussed all this on a call <coughs> with uh, tech leads Suman <coughs> Sandeep and Gauss with me but we didn't record the call so I'm just doing this again so that we have a recording of this because this is a classic case of a production problem and how it is debugged thank you